Hello, welcome back to another vlog. Starting off the vlog quickly, we're heading out the door to head to the mall actually, just to kind of browse around. I wanna look at some perfumes, Christian needs a new cologne, and we're just gonna spend the afternoon there. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this tank from Old Navy. I love the cut of this tank and it was under $10. These pants are from Revolve. They're double line linen pants. I love them. They're some of my favorites. Shoes are Tiki's and then this tan bag. I just got my hair done yesterday and I'm not used to seeing myself this blonde, but I'm wearing earrings from Heaven Mayhem. This is the fit. I'm used to seeing myself so blonde, but I just got home a little bit ago from getting my eyebrows done, which I don't do that often, and I wanted to start going a little bit more often. I think I mentioned in my last vlog that we are going to the Bahamas this week, and I don't want to even bring attention to it, but there is like a type of depression forming out in the Atlantic. I think it's a little bit early for hurricanes to be forming so we're gonna just keep an eye on it i did add insurance to our tickets if it were to get canceled but i've been looking forward to this trip since we booked it easter weekend so it's been a couple months i'm really hoping that everything works out and we leave wednesday like this pto has been on the calendar for four months but today i am packing and prepping i work the next two days monday tuesday and then we leave wednesday morning at 7 20. it is a a family trip and my brother's bringing his girlfriend and i'm bringing christian so it's gonna be a fun fun five days vacation i haven't had a vacation since we went to italy last year and i've only used like one pto day since then and that was for our engagement photos that ended up being canceled back in march and rescheduled so I'm like itching for PTO. So um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick with some new products. I haven't styled them yet. Usually I do it first before makeup. I usually use, I've talked about this before, I've used this for years. It's kind of beat up, but it's the got to be hair gel. And I use that on my eyebrows. It stays really, really well. Merit just recently came out with a eyebrow pencil and I use the Morphe eyebrow pencil usually, but they just came out with their Brow 1990 Sheer Gel Pencil. And I got the color light brown and then I got the color taupe for their eyebrow gel. So I'm gonna use the brow pencil as a first impression. Packaging is stunning. I mean, their packaging is always pretty stunning. There it is. Okay, if you can see that, it's really hard for it to pick up, but it's this really nice silver packaging and then their eyebrow gel is in this really pretty gold packaging. So we're gonna try and fill these in. 
really really like the brow pencil first time using it i have used their brow gel before i just usually use like this is what i'll bring with me like a beach bag pool bag to touch up my brows before i like head to lunch or go somewhere after like the beach or the pool because I usually have my eyebrows kind of already gelled up with clear gel. So I don't use this all the time, but this is definitely something that I take with me to the beach or the pool just to like touch up really quick with a mirror or something in the bathroom. I think they look really good and it was so easy to fill in and use the products and I think it has something to do with me just getting my eyebrows done. I really love the brow pencil. I think I'm going to be using that more than the gel. I just love the gel technique that I use. Using this, you kind of have to use a little bit more pressure. This is very pigmented so it's easy to get the color and you can kind of tell the difference between like a high-end versus a lower end product and this is very very cheap so it's something that i have to continuously go over that area with because the color isn't super pigmented but the color on the merit is very pigmented use a light hand you don't need a lot and it's just easy to get the color on the brow so that's like the first thing that i notice versus my old product which is very cheap so i will link the new products down below i think this will be coming with me on my trip Maybe both of them because I can put this in my beach bag. I am getting to packing today. I didn't really style my hair at all from Friday or yesterday. I don't know if you can see. I've already started kind of pulling out clothes to pack. And I just need to get a good idea of just some things. I mean, all I'll need is bathing suits, cover-ups, and things to wear to dinner. And then maybe like a workout set or two. I'm going to do that. I have a nail appointment with my sister in 45 minutes. So I need to leave for that. We're both getting pedicures and manicures. So I'm a little bit early on my manicure. Usually I go three weeks, but it's only been two, but I want them fresh for our trip. Oh, I need to share what I bought yesterday. I kind of showed, I think I'm going to bring this on the trip, but I kind of showed a video in the dressing room wearing this. They just opened up an aloe in the Millennium Mall in Orlando. So when Christian and I went to the mall yesterday, we went for mainly, I kind of wanted to smell some perfumes. We were in Neiman Marcus for a very long time smelling perfumes. Um, I'm kind of looking for a wedding day perfume. So I kind of wanted to go smell some Byredo perfumes, which I'm kind of interested in. I don't necessarily love the bottle. Like it's very plain, but if you're a bride, or if you've been a bride, you know that you take photos of like the perfume and the jewelry and the invitation and all that stuff. So I want something that's pretty and it's going to photograph well, but I also want something that I love. And I love a lot of the Byredo scents. So I went to go smell some. I didn't buy any, but that's like part of the reason why I wanted to go to the mall. And Christian also wanted to kind of look at clones too. But we went into Aloe and I got this cute um, athletic dress and it's so cute so flattering and it has built-in shorts too which are very comfortable i think it's just the most flattering dress and i think i'm bringing it with me on our trip just to, like wear around i think my sister and i will do like a beach walk or i can wear this on a treadmill it's like a workout dress really really cute really flattering true to size the only con that i would say and it doesn't really apply to me because i don't have pets but it is kind of a fabric that feels like it will pick up pet hair really easily. So just keep that in mind if you do end up buying this dress. Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to share that that's what I did pick up. At first I wasn't going to get it, but I went back for it because I couldn't stop thinking about it. It was so cute. I just got home from getting my nails done. I got a manicure and a pedicure with my sister and it was so nice. She got like a really pretty blue and I got OPI Let's Be Friends. This is like my go-to nail color so and i got that on my toes as well but i have barely packed anything and i'm about to pick out some swimsuits that i'm bringing i just keep them all in this bin and really get to packing because i don't want to do it after work tomorrow or tuesday and we leave wednesday so and all i'm bringing is a little suitcase so i'm gonna start pulling out bikinis and i think i'm gonna bring a different bikini for each day my favorite bikini brand is honestly hunza g it's 110 percent worth every single penny i even got my sister hooked on them because they are that good they're so flattering what i like about them too is that they are one size fits most they're super stretchy but they also 
like condense really well so you can kind of pull them out to be more coverage or kind of push them in and hike them up to have more of a cheeky coverage so i really do like them I'm about to get in the shower because House of the Dragon comes on and there's only two more episodes left, which is kind of sad. But Osea sent over some body products and I'm so excited. This has been my favorite oil for two years now. Doesn't matter what season, this is incredible layered with lotion. It's so moisturizing, makes your skin so glowy. It's my favorite. I've repurchased it hundreds of times. These next two products I haven't tried until this past week. First is the Ocean Cleanser, which I love so much. I even put in a travel container to bring with me to the Bahamas. It's so gentle, doesn't strip your skin. I love the way it makes my skin feel clean, but not stripped, which I love. Great ingredients in all of these products. And I do have a discount code and I'll put it on the screen right here and I'll also put it down below with all of the products linked. And then this is a new product. It's the Hyaluronic Acid Body Serum, which I've been putting all over my body, mixing with moisturizer or even this oil. And it's brand new and I'm obsessed with everything Osea. And this is just a ride or die, <laughs> take it to a deserted island. This is my favorite, favorite product. Also did want to mention that all of their products are clean, vegan, and cruelty-free, and also gluten-free. I love what this brand stands for. It's truly one of my favorite skincare, body care brands. So I will link everything down below. I'm going to get in the shower and get ready for another episode. Okay, I came into the other room, but packing has been a nightmare, actually. I don't know why I was having so much trouble packing this side of my suitcase. I just rolled everything up, but I had such trouble with it. I think I packed it and unpacked it six or seven times before I got it to this state. It's been a little rough and I don't know why. Usually it's really easy for me to pack, but this time it's not been easy for me. So basically all packed clothes wise. I just need to put my toiletries on this side and then some sandals. I'm gonna bring this beach bag from Zara as my carry-on. And I think I'm gonna bring both of these hats, this cowgirl hat and this one, bucket hat. And then I think I might put my toiletries in here actually. And then that will free up a lot of this space. I also have this stuff I wanna bring. I have like no jean shorts in here. I have all just linen shorts, boxer shorts, cover-ups and like dresses and things. So I thought maybe it'd be a good idea to bring just one pair of denim shorts. And then I have some linen pants and then I have just one crew neck that I wanted just for comfy, I don't know, just hanging around just in case. I always like to pack at least a sweatshirt. So I think I'll try and lay this stuff on top because these wrinkle really bad or really easily, I guess you could say. So that's the state. I think I'm gonna bring, I think I'm gonna bring this bag for my sister. She doesn't have a beach bag and this one's easy to kind of throw in. So I think I'm gonna bring that for her so she can use something. I don't know why I always do this, but I did this for Italy. These are like the same containers that I, had all last year, I just refilled them. I added my Osea face wash to this because it was empty. I added some purple shampoo because my hair got so yellow 
last time we went to the Bahamas, so I just mixed purple shampoo with my regular shampoo. I also do that anyway to help it last longer. Little mini cleansing oil. And then I just got this today, mini dry shampoo, because my dry shampoo is too big. But I just put it all in a plastic bag because it makes it so much easier for travel. And then I just have these bags from Etsy for all my makeup. I'm going to put my skincare in here. And then this is just like an extra little bag that I throw in my purse. And I just put things that I might need to have. So I have perfume and then extra clips that I don't want to get crushed. So I'm going to put this in my purse. But I got all these little pouches from an Etsy shop. They're all from the same one. I think they're so cute. So I can link them if I can find them. I found this one, but it's very limited stock. And they're different sizes. This is the large one, and then this is the small one. 